I have another really big shipping video for you again this week and uh, some really interesting guitars. The most interesting thing is the fact that just yesterday we launched the new X20 series, uh, the new revised X20 model. So uh, we've, we launched that last night and I think we sold like, I think five of them pretty much instantly. So, uh, so they're in today's shipping video and we're getting them straight out the door. So I'm gonna jump in and uh, show you what you've got here. And we've pretty much got almost every model in this week. Um, so the first one is going out to Dennis in North Carolina. And uh, he's gone for the Amicus. And uh, this is our little short scale 12 string guitar in uh, black carbon. So uh, unlike some other 12 string guitars, this is tuned in unison. So kind of more like the way a mandolin is tuned and gives you that kind of nice high mandolin sound. And David in New York, he has uh, what we've been calling the Gitandolin. This is a, a five string custom that we've made for him. Uh, it had a very specific requirement of uh, the neck configuration, how we would lay out the strings. And uh, we worked with him back and forward over a, a period of time just to get uh, exactly the details that he wanted. Custom did the headstock here to fit in nicely with the five strings. He wanted a really straight string pull, uh, which we've managed to achieve here and a uh, uh, fan fret scale of, I think, 24 to 23 inches, and uh, all finished in amber. So really nice guitar, and uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts, David. Next one up is uh, Steve in Watford in, uh, in England, and uh, this is the X10, and uh, this is an X10 with the humbucker and, uh, and the piezos. And, uh, Finish in green carbon. Really nice finish on that. And we've got Bob in Florida. He's got a custom X10. Uh, this also has, uh, has the Crevo and Piezos, and it has a slightly wider neck. Um, it's, uh, I think it's one in, oh, I'm gonna get this wrong. Uh, I think a millimeter is 47 millimeters. Uh, maybe one of seven eighths, I think it is. Um, but uh, yeah, finishing this beautiful blue quilted maple. And uh, that's going out to Florida. Then we've got Gregory in Wisconsin. He's got the X10 Coco Bolo. And uh, this is finished in the beautiful Coco Bolo with an amber back and sides uh, with the level, level three pickup system. So it's got the Crevo and the Piezos and also has an interface for MIDI. So uh, just really versatile. And we have another custom X10. This is going out to, uh, I think it's Doris in uh, Louisiana. Uh, this X10 um, is pre pretty much the same configuration as the first one, except uh, we've put all the controls on the top for this one for her. Um, so uh, it's got the, uh, the volume and tone for the magnetic, a volume control for the piezo and a volume for the MIDI and the quick switching in between. Uh, the other really interesting thing in this one is uh, she asked us to make it half the thickness. So we've custom made this one for her, uh, really super slim. So it gives a really nice, comfortable profile. So uh, I think she's really gonna love this. And uh, we've also done a custom slotted headstock. So a really nice customized X10 here. Something really a little bit different, but uh, Great sound out of it as well. Surprisingly, you know, even for being such a slim body, really gives a great tonal projection. So uh, it was fun doing that one for her. Then we have uh, Donnie in Alaska. Uh, he's gone for the X20. And uh, this is the X20 in black carbon. Uh, the original X20 now. And uh, yeah, or been our best selling guitar for eight years. It's been exciting this week launching the new one. Um, then we've got this one going out to Clifford in uh, Canada. And this is the X20 uh, finishing amber. Amber all around. And Mark in New Hampshire, in the US. Uh, he's got this X20 with um, flame maple. A uh, really nice piece of flame maple with green, green transparent over the top and green carbon back and sides. Then we've got uh, Brooks in Indiana. And uh, got this uh, 
X20 and the really beautiful blue quilted maple. I think recently we've been doing a number of these blue quilted maples and I think maybe blue is becoming my favorite in the quilted maple finish. Just really, really special, I think. And blue carbon back inside. Happy birthday, Brooke. Then we've got, uh, is, um, is that Philly? Uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, just trying to read how it's been written here. Um, now this is the first of our, um, our new Model X20. So uh, we've been really, really excited about this guitar. It's just a small um, update on the original X20. Uh, we didn't really want to change the guitar fundamentally. But what we have done is uh, we've just refreshed a little bit of the details on it. So on the top here, we've gone with a, a new contoured bridge. Um, some really nice subtle contours here. It's uh, got a pinless bridge as well, so it doesn't have the pins. It has the little slot of keyway. Then on the end of the fretboard, we've, uh, we've changed this from our normal straight finish to uh, having this nice contour. And uh, that contour is kind of to reflect the, the curves of the top of the guitar here. And I think it does that really well. And then on the back is sort of the business side of this. We've uh, gone with the extended access cutaway here. So we've removed the heel and uh, been able to give it this neck joint that uh, just gives so much more um, access right up the back of the neck. It's one of the really unique things that we do. Um, normally, if you remove a heel away from a, a guitar, it makes it a really weak connection. But with carbon fiber, it actually makes it stronger. So this whole section here, the way the carbon fiber uh, reinforces it and actually makes this whole area very, very strong. Um, the other detail that we've changed is, uh, is this little rib bevel here. So it's a subtle contour, but again, just adds to the overall uh, comfort and feel of the, the guitar. So that's the first one going out the door and uh, really excited about that, going to Florida. So then Sean in California, he jumped on this uh, X20, the new X20, finished in the black carbon. So uh, let's just look at the two of them side by side. You know, two very beautiful guitars in their own right, uh, but just some of the little subtle refresh details on the newer model. And we just look at the back and sides. So I'll give you a clear idea of just what we've done there. And we haven't done anything really to change the tone of the guitar. It's, uh, it's more just about ergonomics and the visual. Um, tonally, still the same guitar, so that's too good to mess with. Then we've got uh, this one going to David in Ontario. Uh, it's a red carbon finish on this one. It's really eye-catching in the red. And, uh, red back and sides. Now we're into the first of our New wood veneer ones. This is going to Adrian in uh, British Columbia. And this is Coco Bolo. I knew this one wasn't going to sit very long. Coco Bolo guitars don't last long on our website. And uh, this one definitely was snapped up pretty fast. Now, this I'm pretty proud of. This is guitar number 6,000. Uh, seems like no time at all since we built guitar number 5,000. Um, but yeah, this is 6,000 and I chose a beautiful piece of Royal Ebony for it. Uh, a really, really exceptional piece of Royal Ebony. I uh, love the, just the contrast between the, the lighter wood and the amazing patterns of the Royal Ebony. Really the, the beautiful jet blacks. You know, it's, it's so black that it just blends perfectly into the sides of the guitar. And uh, black carbon back and sides. So that's going out to Paul in Alberta. So. Cherish this one, Paul. It's, uh, it's special to me. You know, I'm sure it'll be special to you. Then we've got uh, one going to Australia, to uh, Jim in Victoria. And this is a custom X20 and uh, X20 nylon. And uh, we've built this on our new model. So it's based on the new model. Um, it's a uh, nylon string. It's got the hand-carved um, tie bridge hand-carved headstock. And uh, as with the, the new model, it's got this nice flourish at the end. And this one has uh, got a beautiful um, figured mahogany veneer. So. Now the other 
unique thing in this one as well, actually, it's got the piezo pickups in here that we use on our X10 series. And uh, it's also got MIDI out. It's got the, the MIDI connectivity as well. So uh, for a nylon, that's actually a really, really good uh, option to go with. Uh, find our, those graph tech piezo pickups work really well. Then we've got Catherine in Manitoba in Canada. And uh, she's gone with this X2012 string, finished in black carbon. So if you like 12 strings, uh, carbon fiber is really a fantastic way to go. You know, you'll, you'll see a lot of 12 strings on our, our shipping videos. As a percentage of what we do, you know, we probably, we sell a high percentage of 12 strings for what are out there. Um, then we've got James in Virginia. This wonderful X30, our big jumbo. And this one's also finished in Coco Bolo. And whenever I'm buying Coco Bolo, I always look for really nice detail. Uh, I'm always looking for the nuts. These are the lies that we see in it. And uh, these are beautiful nuts here and the really nice heartwood. And I uh, always like to try and align it. You know, do something with the, the headstock that matches the, the body. So it's just got this nice light wood that runs right up the center. I think it works really well. Now, this one is going out to uh, my friend Steve in Florida. And uh, myself and Steve spend a lot of time talking about guitars. Um, we, we talk about design ideas and, and many different aspects of guitars. Uh, so I was really proud whenever he uh, chose to, to buy this Kestrel Hard Stop office. And, uh, he just got this last week. Um, I'm going to change the bridge on this, actually. I'm going to put a Graftec bridge on. It'll have the six individual piezos. Um, so that's a, a nice little feature that will change that for him. But uh, this one is finished in a beautiful piece of uh, Bacote, uh, or Bacotti, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, it's got the Crevo humbucker here, so that'll blend nicely with the, the piezos. So, pretty nice setup. Look forward to hearing your reaction to that one, Steve. And then we've got Eric in the Netherlands. So the last one today is um, this Synergy X20, finished in green quilted maple, or sorry, red quilted maple. Um, how did I say green? And uh, yeah, our beautiful Synergy, really great harp guitar. And uh, it's got the, the six strings here uh, and six sub basses. Um, so it just really gives you a great dynamic. We've got all that extra um, ability to, you know, to create extra tones just by playing along with the bass line over the top of your guitar playing. And uh, Synergy X20 has a really nice contoured body and uh, finishing red, red quilted maple on top. Really nice piece. So that's it for this week. Another really great selection. And uh, it's going to be exciting just to see how the X20 develops. Um, you know, it's been our, our best-selling guitar since we launched in 2012. I expect it to continue in a very similar way. Uh, it's a guitar that we use a lot for, for different custom projects. I'm sure we'll build a lot of custom variations. Uh, or 12 string and uh, or nylon guitar um, or seven string or baritone. Those molds are already still configured with the original shape X20 and that'll continue that way. So they won't be trans transitioned on as will the lefty. The lefty will still remain with the original shape. Uh, so it'll really just be the six string and custom variations off that six string uh, that'll be available with the, the new body style. So uh, we'll be seeing more of that in coming weeks and uh, we'll talk more about it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week. some breathing techniques.